right, today I'm talking about the musical alphabet and uh, the way it relates to the steel drum. One of the things we have to think about and talk about is that there is an alphabet related in music, and that would be things like, I'm going to start on C, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, and then it just keeps repeating. And uh, we talk about the circle of fifths, you'll hear about the, the fifths style steel drum band. Well, what that means is, one, two, three, four, five, C is five notes from G, and uh, G is one, two, three, four, five, is five notes from D, and so on and so forth. C and G are a fifth apart. G and D are a fifth apart, this kind of a fifth. And you just keep going like that. And that's why the steel drum is set up that way. It's called the circle of fifths. Now, why it's called the circle of fifths doesn't make any difference, but it is five notes apart. That's why they're set up that way. The other thing is there is such a thing as the enharmonic uh, scale. And C sharp is the same as D flat. And the best way I can describe this is uh, my mother-in-law is also my wife's mother, so she's two different. She do two different people. No, she's one person who has two different functions. She's my mother-in-law. She's my mo my wife's mother. C sharp is also can also be called D flat, depending on how you need it to be, uh, how you reference it. D sharp and E flat are also the same note. So, having that in mind, when we go to the keyboard, if you know piano, you'll understand this. If you don't know piano, here's C. Here's C sharp. Here's D. Here's D flat. But you're saying, hey, the, are these two different notes? No, they're not. C sharp and D flat are the same note. They're just called different notes, or they're called different things, depending on how you need to use them. And I don't want to talk about that because that, that gets into a whole can of worms. This is D, D sharp, E, E flat. Flats go down, sharps go up. And so these guys meet in the middle, D sharp, E flat. Now, E and F have no black one in the middle, so there's a little bit of a variation here, but F, F sharp, G, G flat. And you just keep going up the scale that way. So you come over to the steel drum, you have C, C sharp, but this also can be D flat, just like the keyboard. It's all related to the keyboard. C, C sharp or D flat, D, E flat or D sharp, then E, then F, remember there's no black one between E and F, F sharp or G flat, then G, then G sharp or A flat, then A, then B flat, or A sharp, and then B, and there's no black one between B and C. Those are the only two variables. So, and that, when you practice that, that's a good thing to practice. That's called the chromatic scale. And the chromatic scale does every uh, sharp and flat. It goes up, I'll show you on the keyboard again, because it all goes back to the keyboard. It does every note. A regular scale will just do eight notes. A chromatic scale does every one in between. And that's a great thing to practice on the steel drum because those scales and the, the uh, uh, chromatic scales are all in music. Just as sentences are made up of words, songs are made up of scales and notes and, and little passages. So uh, that's a good thing to practice.